day everybody my name is Anna and welcome to cactus caffeine in this channel I share with you my passion of growing cactus and other desert plants over a cup of coffee and by the way this coffee that I am drinking today is actually an instant coffee so this is the brand old town white coffee three in one means it has it the coffee sugar and creamer in it so I'm usually very picky with um instant coffee but this one is really good this was sent to me by my brother this is a uh, coffee from malaysia all right so on to our topic for today. i have here in front my echinopsis pacanoi or what is commonly known as the san pedro cactus so i've had this cactus for almost three years now and it is time to repot it because it has become too tall for its pot it's actually very heavy those three posts is very heavy so when the wind blows hard it actually knocks down this whole pot because the pot is just plastic so it's time to repot it and i measured it from the bottom all the way to the tallest post on top that measures 27 inches so when i had this or when i bought it it was about two-thirds of its height right now so it is due for repotting and another reason why i need to repot it is i know you will cringe on what i'll be telling you next but it is still in its nursery pot and nursery soil <laughs> so yes i know that is bad so do not follow what i did with this cactus so ideally i should have repotted this within the first year or first few months that i've gotten this cactus but i keep procrastinating so three years later here i am now repotting this cactus so as you can see here the three columns have uh, grown too close to each other so the first thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to wrap each cactus to prevent them from rubbing from each other and causing further damage as you can see those are caused by the spines rubbing against each other when the wind blows so it forms a scab already it won't kill the cactus but it looks unsightly So as you can see this is so root bound and there is no way I can separate the three columns without causing so much damage on the roots so what I will do instead is I'll wash off as much soil as I can that way I can free up the roots easier. Okay, so it has been three days since I was uh, taking all these apart uh, because I lost daylight that day so I wasn't able to film anymore. So anyway, three days after, um, they're all now here separated and the roots are now dry. When I separated these, um, it was so hard because they were all entangled. The roots were all entangled so I had to... Uh, cut off some of the roots just to separate them or break them apart so after i washed off the roots i sprinkled it generously with cinnamon powder so the orange brownish stuff that you see on the roots those are actually cinnamon powder cinnamon has an antifungal property so it is just to prevent root rot because you know there was a lot of breaking and um, cutting of roots when i was trying to separate these three guys apart so since this have been bare root and have been left to dry out for a few days you know 
this fine roots even if you put this cactus back in the soil most likely these fine roots will not grow anymore and they'll just eventually fall off in the soil so it's okay for you to um, take them out now like do a little cleaning what you would want to prevent is to cut off the big roots like this one so refrain from damaging those because those are the ones that will produce more roots and especially if you have a cactus that has a tap root so ref do not do not cut off the tap root so just deal with a fine root you know, so just a gentle tug you don't need to be pulling out hard so you will know which ones because they'll just come off easily like that with your hands i am going to leave this for one more day just to let them dry out further and just in case you know i we did a lot of root tugging so just in case there are open wounds still so it will give them some more time to heal before we pot them up tomorrow Here are my San Pedro cacti now in its new pot. Alright, so let me just take you closer so you can see what I did down here. So in the pot, I placed big rocks. Aside from, you know, as decorations, they also help to keep the cacti, the three poles, stable because uh, their roots have not gotten a hold of the soil yet. So they're a little wobbly. So I used these big rocks to actually support them and then i also have some lava rocks up here and i also inserted some of this thimble cactus or this is the mammillaria gracilis fragilis i wonder if i got that right <laughs> so i inserted them here as fillers because these are very hardy i actually have a lot of this it's came from this pot as you can see this pot is almost full it is full actually so i just plucked out some of the cactus from this one and placed it around here so i find these very very um hardy whether it's cold or hot and um so i decided to put them here and i hope it'll you know eventually fill this up with those tiny cacti and it will look good in this pot 
okay so here they are now hopefully they will grow and flower for me very soon <laughs> all right guys so if you like my video please do give me a thumbs up subscribe if you like cactus and other desert plants so until my next video bye and cheers